And hello YouTube, this is GS Man I'm Smart, and I'm here in a brand new video for gaming with GS, and today we're here on Guild Wars 2, going over another easy gold trick, our 17th video in the 2.0 series. Now, I get... I guess I'm terming this an easy gold trick because uh, you do make lots of money out of it. However, I did go over this specific method uh, in a past video. Not this specific topic, which is a really cool topic that I, I, just, I just wanted to share with you guys because it's it makes you a lot of money and it's also kind of cool how you can make some really awesome stuff. So, in the past, we used the Mystic Forge to basically upgrade uh, lower tier materials into higher tier materials. We also used the Mystic Forge to use our Spirit Shards or to use um, other miscellaneous items like uh, uh, bottles of Elonian wine to craft rare items that can be sold in the trading post like lodestones or stuff like that. That sell for two, three, that sell for like a one, two, three gold on the trading post as well, right? But we never really covered the larger scale items that you can craft in the Mystic Forge that can net you anywhere from 12 gold to 30 gold to 50 gold to 100 gold to 400, 600 gold. You can use the Mystic Forge to make huge sums of money. If you have one, lots of spirit shards, which those of us who've been playing for a long time have a ton of those. You get spirit shards from random drops if you're level 80. You get spirit shards from, I think, some tombs and knowledges even. You get spirit shards from a lot of different ways. And some of us are sitting at over a thousand spirit shards. As you see, I have over a thousand. Now, you might be thinking, what can I do with spirit shards? Well, they are needed for legendary crafting. You do need them to buy some of the legendary achievement things to unlock them for the legendary weapons to unlock. You know how we're doing the Choka and Champwat series? We need to buy the volumes with spirit shards. You need them for that. You also need spirit shards to build other legendary weapons that are not required through the achievement section. And you also need spirit shards to buy Eldritch Scrolls. And Eldritch Scrolls are fairly expensive. They cost 50... They cost 50... Uh, spirit shards just to buy one <clears throat> now if you have tons of spirit shards and if you have tons of mystic coins you can rack in loads of money uh, it does require some dedication it does require some time but it's not hard it's not difficult at all now in my inventory here I have uh, several items. I have a gift of spiders, which I got out of a Halloween bag a while ago. I never really, you know, knew what to do with it, so I just really kept it on another character. Um, this Highlander beer I just bought from the Lion's Arch lady, from the innkeeper, because I looked it up, and you do need this to craft one of the weapons we're gonna be doing. I bought Superior Sigils of Night because it's required uh, to craft some to craft a bow with the gift of spiders. And I've collected a ton of Mystic Coins already. If you're like me and you have tons of Mystic Coins already and you can't even deposit anymore, why not use some of them? If You don't need to use all of them, but you can use some of these Mystic Coins to rack in loads of profit. So I'm going to be using some of my, my Mystic Coins. I'm not going to use all 250, but I'm going to use some of them. And then I also bought Opal Orbs and uh, Coral Orbs because these are also needed to craft one of the weapons we're going to be crafting. Now, um... Very some very miscellaneous items. This is a pretty miscellaneous item. This is an item that is mainly used for dungeon runs, and uh, these items are mainly used to upgrade. Like, these are very weird items to have to use in a Mystic Forge, right? However, uh, the key ingredient to all of these items is an Eldritch Scroll. Now, if we go over here, talk to the Mystic Forge lady. Eldritch Scrolls cost fifty Spirit Shards, right? Now, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be crafting three exotic weapons, so I'm gonna need three Eldritch Scrolls. Now, you're probably thinking, why are we crafting exotic weapons? Don't they only cost like you know four gold, five gold, two gold, three gold? Yes. However, we're gonna be crafting some really rare exotic weapons, and um, with Eldritch Scrolls, you can craft a lot of really cool exotic weapons that sell for heaps of money. I will leave a link to the full list of. Uh, weapons you can craft in the Mystic Forge using Eldritch Scrolls. And you don't need to focus on Eldritch Scrolls only. You can literally... I'm trying to go to my bank. You can literally use Spirit Shards for any of the items uh, that Milani offers here. And some of these can be turned into gold. What I'm looking for is Orichalum Ingots, because I need 10 of those. <clears throat> uh, we don't have any, so let me go and craft 10 of these real quick. So, uh, Eldritch Scrolls, Bottles of Elonian Wine, these are all miscellaneous items that the Mystic Forge Lady sells, and some of us may be wondering, why does she sell them? What are they there for? 
and well, they're there for to craft these really expensive exotic weapons. Now, you're thinking, why are these weapons so expensive if anyone can just do them? Uh, well, not anyone can just do them, and the reason why is... Oh, I don't even have... I need to go to the artificing. Not everyone can do them because you need mystic coins. Mystic coins are really expensive right now. Not only that, but you need spirit shards as well. And you have to be level 80 with spirit shards. And you need to play the game for quite some time to even get spirit shards. So this isn't something everyone can do. You need to have mystic coins. And the only way you get that is from logging in every day. If you don't have mystic coins, you can't do this. You're going to have to buy them. And they cost 70 silver right now. So you're going to be using a lot of money to just buy mystic coins. Um, not only that, but you need spirit shards. If you're not, if you haven't played the game for very long, you may not have a lot of spirit shards, and you won't be able to do it. In, you won't be able to do it anyway, even. So this isn't something everyone can do, which is why some of these weapons are pretty pricey. Now the first weapon we're going to create is, I believe it's using this, using this, using this, and using this. Now. If we forge this, as you see, we need one of these, we need 10 Mystic Coins, one Eldritch Scroll, and 10 Aura Calamingots. If we forge this, look what we get. We get a Focus. This isn't any ordinary Focus. This is a pretty rare Focus. You can sell this on the Trading Post for, what's our total going to be here? For a total of 12 gold or 8 gold flat. Now... People are buying this, uh, especially people who want to have, you know, a full list of skins. <clears throat> they are usually buying this. How much did I, how much did I actually use, how much did I actually waste my money on? How much money did I waste to get materials? Well, the Highlander beer cost me 10 copper from the inn lady, right? So, that was nothing. Then the, uh, what was the other thing? The Elder Scroll only cost me 50 spirit shards, which was, again, nothing. No gold wasted. Right? The 10 Aura Callum Ingots, well, if you don't have any, which you probably do have, if you're level 80, you've collected a ton of these ores, and you probably have them. But let's just say you need to buy them. Let's just say, okay, I don't have any Aura Callum Ingots, let me just buy them. If you need to buy them, well, that's going to cost you, um, let's see, it's going to cost you about one gold. Right? One gold. And the other thing you needed was 10 Mystic Coins. How much is that going to cost you? Well, probably 8 gold. But if you have Mystic Coins, it costs you nothing. In fact, if you don't have Mystic Coins, don't do this method. You're going to waste your money. You better have Mystic Coins if you want to do this method. So right now, the only thing I've... I've basically wasted no money. On this specific item, I've wasted no money, except for 10 copper. I've wasted 10 copper to sell this item. And here, I'm making 8 gold. Well, 7 gold, but... You, you, you catch my drift. You're making 7 gold, almost 8 gold, for simply just wasting 10 copper to buy a beer from the innkeeper in Lion's Arch. And this innkeeper is right over here. Where is she? She's right here. That merchant right here. So that's one way of making a pretty cool weapon. Now we're going to make another weapon. <clears throat> and this weapon is uh, using this, 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 and this. Now, 30, 30, I'll tell you right now, I did not I did not have all the coral orbs and the opal orbs. I did have to buy 20 each of these. These cost about 30 silvers each, so I wasted about 6 gold on each. So 12 gold right here. I wasted 12 gold. Once again, I have Mystic Coins. I don't need to buy them. Elder Scroll only costs 50 Spirit Shards, so I've wasted 6 gold on this item. We're going to forge it. Check this out. We get another skin. Now... If I were to go check this, remember, we wasted 8 gold, I mean, we wasted 12 gold only. And here it is, 26 gold, almost 40 gold here. Do you see these numbers? You can make, you can make heaps of money here. So, even if you were to sell it instantly right now, which is what I'm going to do because, um, I don't know how long this is going to sell. I don't know if this is, I don't know how long it will take to sell this, but I want to show you guys the money we're making. So, yes, I'm aware if I put it on, if I listed item, I get a ton of money. I am aware of that. I usually do that with my other items, but it's for the purpose of the video. So, there we go. We made another 25, 24 gold. And if we consider we wasted 12 gold to make it, we made 12 gold profit. Pretty easy. 
Now, right now you've only seen an item sell for 12 gold. You've only seen an item sell for 40 gold. Well, let's go a little higher than that. Um, let's go ahead and go into here. Now, Mystic Coins, once again, I have Mystic Coins. The Gift of Spiders, I also already had. The Eldritch Scroll, I also just wasted 50, 50 uh, Spirit Shards on. The only thing that I bought are the 20 Sigils of Night, because I didn't have 20 of these, so... I didn't have 20 of these, and these costed 2 gold each, so I basically wasted uh, 40 gold. I wasted 40 gold to buy these, right? That's how much I wasted, 40 gold. Forge this, and look what we get. We get a bow. How much does this sell for? Well, this sells for... 100 gold. Almost 200 gold in the listing. And what did I waste? 40 gold. Now, why is this so expensive? One, because it's a Halloween item. Two, because the sigils of night cost a lot. Two gold each, you need 40 gold. Three, because you need the gift of spiders. And the gift of spiders cost, I think, what was it? I think the gift of spiders cost like 20 gold, I think. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, gift of spiders costs 13 gold. And they need 50 mystic coins, which will cost you like 40 gold. So let's just let, let's just say you you only have the gift of spiders, right? I mean, let's just say you only have the mystic coins. You don't have the gift of spiders. You'll have to buy it for 13 gold. You don't have the sigils of night. You'll need to buy them for 40 gold. That only costs you 53 gold. You can still make almost 200 gold. You can make 150, 130 gold off of selling this item. You've only made, you've only basically wasted 52 gold. So you're still making profit. You're making over 60 gold profit. And the reason you're making that profit is because of the power of Mystic Coins. Mystic Coins are so wanted right now because of all the legendaries people want to make. Because they're hard to get to begin with. I and mean, if we take a look at Mystic Coins, they're not something cheap. Let me... Right. At one point, Mystic Coins were over 1 gold. I mean, these things fluctuate in price constantly. Look, it's almost 80 gold to buy some of these. This is why these weapons are selling for so much. Because people who don't have Mystic Coins have to buy them here. And the only way you get Mystic Coins is from logging in every day. So, if you are a dedicated player, then you're getting Mystic Coins, you know, if you take a look at our, our daily login rewards, we get Mystic Coins like what, every week I think it is? Yeah, here we get some, here we get some, here we get some, here we get some. I mean, generally, for, you know, you get Mystic Coins for a lot of things. You get them for doing achievements as well, for like getting, I think sometimes you'll get them for like, uh, doing some of these attune boxes. Do you? I'm not really sure. I don't know how, how I have 250 uh, Mystic Coins. I think it's just because I log in every day. I have been playing the game for a long time, so. If you're a dedicated player, here's my point. If you're a dedicated player, you log in every day, you have all these Mystic Coins, you get rewarded by being able to craft these weapons and selling them for heaps of money. You don't need to have all the materials. You can buy all the materials and you'll still make a profit. Now, if we take a look at some of these other weapons you can craft, here we go. So here's the Elder Scroll site. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna go press back. Here's a list of all the things you can buy with Spirit Shards, right? Some of these things are, you know, just the volumes here. Eldritch Scrolls, one of them. Uh, mana, cri um, mis uh, what is this? Mystic Crystals are some other things. Mystic Crystals are also used to craft things. But Eldritch Scrolls here, if we take a look, 50 Spirit Shards. And look at this, for example. The Abyssal Scepter here sells for almost 500 gold. And what does it require you to do? It requires you to get one Elder Scroll, which is easy, right? 100 Mystic Coins, which is also easy. You've been logging in every day. 250 Ancient Scepter Rods. Now, here you may be thinking, ah, oh, so many, I don't have that many. Well, all you need to do is just have three Ancient Wood. Three times 250 is 750 Ancient Wood. If you gather every day, if you salvage a lot, you should have maybe... 500 ancient wood at least this isn't that difficult to get i'm not saying 
oh, you have to go and, you know, now buy a bunch of these materials or focus on getting these materials. Just play the game casually. You'll end up getting a lot of these materials by just depositing them in your bank. And then you're going to think to yourself, hey, I have a ton of stuff in my bank. What can I actually use it for? Here's what you can use it for. I mean, look at this. Who would think you would need, who would think you need old Paul and coral orbs? I didn't think I need this. I had like 10, 12 of these sitting in my bank. And I'm, I'm sitting here wondering, why are these sell for so much? And what are they used for? This is what they're used for. This is one of the ways they're used for. This is why it's so expensive because you can sell a 12 gold item on a trading post with these. So there's a lot of items here that you may not think are valuable, but they are valuable. Look at this mystic crystals right here. Uh, 100 pounds of crystal, not very hard to get. I mean, these you can just get from salvaging globs of ectoplasm. You probably have a lot of these already. 40 mystic coins only. This only requires you to have spirit shards. This only requires you to have spirit shards. The only thing you might have to buy are pounds of crystalline dust. And let's see how much this sells for. Look at that, 90 gold there. I mean, this stuff is really cool to look into. You can make a lot of cool skins. If you want to have a new skin, you can craft one right here. You don't need to sell it. You can just add it to your collection. Or if you want some free, easy gold, then just check your bank. See what you have laying around. See what stuff is used for. And maybe you'll run into some luck like I did and actually see that, hey, a lot of this stuff can actually be used to make some really expensive items. So I'm going to go ahead. As you see, I still have 110 Mystic Coins. I think I'm going to start saving up again uh, because I do know you need some of them for legendary uh, crafting. And I do want to make a legendary. I'm, on, I'm in the process of making a legendary. But we're going to go ahead and sell this item. And um, do I want to sell instantly? I kind of don't want to sell instantly because look at this. I mean, this is this is great. I might I might put it for a for a very appealing price, though. A very, a very appealing price of... Let's put a... What's a very... What would you guys buy this for? I don't know who buys this, though. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I mean, I, I'm sure people buy this, but I'm just one of those guys who doesn't want to wait forever. That's that's my issue. I don't want to wait forever to sell this. We're going to put 145 gold, maybe? I don't know. Let's put 145 gold. Why not? And list this item. All right. So, uh, very soon, very soon, I will be racking in another 145 gold. That'll probably be decreased to about 120, maybe. And I'll be making 160 gold. Easy. 160 gold. And all I really wasted today was about, about uh, 52 gold. 52 gold for 162 gold. It's about an 82 gold profit there. That was, that was quick math. Probably wrong. It might be like 72, 92. Whatever. I'm making a ton of profit, all right? That's the point. Um, so, yeah. Try it out. Definitely check it out. See if you like it. Uh, if you like the video, go and give it a like. If you didn't know about this, definitely let me know. And uh, hopefully you have some fun. This is a pretty fun method. You know, a lot of times we don't really know what, what, all these cool things you can make. And I really enjoyed, uh, I you, you know, crafting. I never I never really craft anything super cool in the Mystic Forge. And I'm glad I was able to share the experience with you guys uh, because I've never really sold anything for over... I've never really sold anything close to 200 gold. I've sold a die once, which sold for like 120 gold. But other than that, nothing really that expensive. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely down in the comment section below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. I also have plenty of other gold guides on the channel. Lots of other uh, different gold tricks, uh, gold video tutorials, all that kind of stuff. Lots of other Guild Wars 2 content on the channel as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of more Guild Wars 2 content coming as well in the future. If you like this video or any of my other videos, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon page. All you gotta do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen, and I'll bring you to the page. I also have a tutorials channel, a vlogging channel, a music channel, and an advice channel. You wanna check that out. Links are in the description, as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back soon, we think. Don't go anywhere.